Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the party. It's me, your girl, Britt Reacts, and today we are reacting to Brokeback Mexican, Gabriel Iglesias. Let's see what he has to say. Material, Gabriel. How do you come up with the things you're gonna say? <laughs> things happen to me, and then I, instead of just going to shrink or something, I, I suck it up and I come up here. Like when I did the joke about the freaking Volkswagen, I really used to own a Volkswagen. I didn't just go, let me see if this is funny. I had a Volkswagen. No, I lived it. People go, why do you wear Hawaiian shirts? I've always worn Hawaiian shirts. I do feel like most really good comedians tell the jokes that come from their life experience. They might embellish and, you know, yada, yada, so on and so forth. But for the most part, I feel like any comedian I've ever watched, it always, I never question like they're, that didn't really, well, okay. Maybe, maybe not, but I, I agree with him. It's like, I don't ever think Fluffy is fabricating his stories. Bottom line is simple. Why do I wear them? Cause they fit. <laughs> They're colorful, Fair. and I'm sorry, when you wear a Hawaiian shirt and you're living in the ghetto, people don't think you're up to no good. You're not Another a gang member point. wearing a Hawaiian shirt. Nobody's gonna take you serious. <laughs> you know, where you from? Oh, Honolulu, eh? <laughs> Another great point. Honolulu, eh? <laughs> you can't be hard and colorful. <laughs> No way, man. And believe me, I've had my encounters. I had a little encounter one time on a plane. Some guy was getting a little weird. And I was like, uh-uh, no more for me. Every time I get on a plane, there's always drama, always. One time I'm flying to Florida and our plane got hit by lightning. Uh-huh. That's terrifying. The plane dropped 600 feet straight down. Oh. Well, that's better than any ride you've ever been on. I don't care who you are. You could have been freaking doing 20 years in prison. You killed a hundred people. You can be the baddest, toughest dude ever. Can that really happen from a plane being struck by lightning? I mean, I guess. I've never, I never, like, never have heard of that. That is scary. My scariest plane situation, and I told this story on TikTok and it, like, went super viral. This was last year. I was coming home from my bachelorette weekend and there was a storm that was happening over Atlanta and we couldn't land and we were gonna run out of gas like we were we had circled Atlanta for like an hour and they were like we're gonna run out of fuel we have to make it to Chattanooga to land before we run out of fuel and they kept telling us like how close we were to running out of fuel and it was that and one time I've been on a plane to or from Puerto Rico and this guy think he had like a bad trip on something and he wigged out the seat in front of us he like wigged out and they didn't land the plane for a medical emergency because we were really close to where we were going but as soon as we got there they like landed and the medic medical people came on those are probably my two if that happened to me I'd be uh busting it I'd be greyhounding it everywhere because turbulence you mean to tell me six do you in the sky wrap it up years in prison you killed a hundred people you can be the baddest, toughest dude ever. When you're in a plane and it just drops yeah. out of the sky. No way. <gasps> Ooh, I was gay for five seconds. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like, <laughs> oh, I was a broke back Mexican. Yes, I was. <laughs> I was in touch with myself. That's hilarious. I've never seen Brokeback Mountain. I remember when it came out and all the like, because <gasps> I think it was like the first Hollywood movie, maybe, maybe big motion picture where like a same sex situation. And I think they were like pretty big actors, right? I don't know. I feel like I was also really young, but I remember the like outrage, the scandal the <gasps> of it all. Uh, so that... That was funny. Also, just because you scream as a man doesn't make you gay. That's also a fact. If you're scared, you're scared. If you see, if you happen to scream like that, that's your business, not anybody else's. 
But yeah, no, that I would I would never get on a plane again. It would take it would take some therapy and a whole lot of Jesus to get me back on an aircraft because I would be on a boat, <laughs> a train or a bus. Anyway, y'all go and have the day you deserve. Peace.